committee for inviting me. I'm very honored to be here to give a lecture and also a demonstration on this endoscopy course. And I first want to start with a short lecture about double balloon endoscopy. Now, of course, we all know that endoscopic access of the small intestine is very difficult. And well, in the in the past, we had radiologic imaging techniques, and which were quite disappointing. Uh, the only endoscopy uh, procedure we could perform was the push endoscopy, but since 2001 we have video capsule endoscopy, and uh, a few years later double balloon endoscopy was introduced. Also for radiological uh, small bowel imaging, there are, uh, I think, improvements by CT and MRI enterocolysis. But I will focus on double balloon, which was introduced by Dr. Yamamoto, from a Yichu uh, hospital in Japan, and his first um, his first paper was shown in the Canadian Journal of Gastroenterology. Uh, you can hear me better now. It um, consists of a long uh, endoscope, which is two meters long and over the uh, endoscope is an overtube. The overtube as well as the endoscope do have a balloon which can be controlled with this system which is pressure controlled and this is the remote control which we use for the control. So how is this system working? Well in a cartoon I would like to show you. First we introduce the endoscope as far as we can into the small bowel. When it's there we fixate the tip of the endoscope with the balloon inflation. And when it is fixed, we are able to introduce the overtube with the distal part very near to the distal part of the endoscope. At that time, the balloon of the overtube will be inflated and we pull back the so in a little cartoon it's shown like this. And now we enter again the overtube and we pull back the system. So this is the reason why Christian L. from Wiesbaden proposed for referral. So what are our data? Well, I looked for a two years period and then we had 172 patients referred for double balloon enteros, 142 uh, patients referred for double balloon uh, procedure and we did more than 170 procedures in this patient. So the medical history is, of course, very important in a lot of the patients due to abdominal pain. Um, still, I think we need follow-up in our group of OGIP, and I want to state that CCE is the first choice in our hospital. So DBE is available for confirmation, for confirmation of the. Uh, uh, diagnosis which was settled by CCE and or of course treatment and I think that DBE will be the gold standard for small bowel investigation in the near future. <laughs> 